Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Now, The Metamorphosis is a novella which was published in 1915, and I have the novella in this collection called The Metamorphosis and Other Stories from Barnes & Noble Classics. Now, I'm not sure if you would really call this a novella or just a really long short story. Now, my personal definition of a novella is anything between 50 to 150 pages long. Anything longer than that, you're starting to become more like a full-length novel, and anything less than that, you're really just a long, short story. And this story is actually a little under 50 pages, so technically this is really more of a long, short story as opposed to a novella, but it, like, it does border on being a novella, and I guess it does doesn't hurt to call it that, and I know I'm talking semantics right now. Now, The Metamorphosis is a story I've heard a great deal about over the years. I mean, it's a very famous story. Like, I think a lot of people have heard of this story, even if they've never read it. Now, the plot of The Metamorphosis is it's about a man named Gregor Samsa who wakes up one morning to find that he's been transformed into a giant cockroach. Now, Kafka never explicitly states whether or not Gregor has been transformed into a giant cockroach. All you know is that he's been turned into some kind of an insect, and in fact, at least in this translation of the novel, because the book was originally written in German, and I think there are several different English translations of it, and in this translation, at one point somebody refers to him as a dung beetle, but I think a lot of people assume that he's a cockroach, and even though somebody refers to him as a dung beetle in this book, I'm going to assume he's a cockroach too, because cockroaches are freaky freaking animals. But basically, the story is about Gregor trying to adjust to his new condition, and his family trying to adjust to his condition, and not just is the story about his metamorphosis into an insect, it's also sort of about the metamorphosis of this family from a love Karen family to a very dysfunctional family because of what's happening. Now, I thought The Metamorphosis was a great story, and there's definitely a reason why this is considered to be a classic even today. And it's honestly a really heartbreaking story. What's so heartbreaking about the story is the fact that you feel so bad for Gregor because he doesn't deserve this, and his family pretty much turns on him, and they treat it like it's his fault this happened to him, and also he can't communicate with his family because he can't speak. Like, he understands them, but whenever he tries to speak, all that comes out are insect noises. So, as far as his family is concerned, he's lost all humanity, when in reality, it's really the family who have lost their humanity because they stop caring about him. And I think that's what's most disgusting about the story is the fact that they treat him like an insect, which he is, but they forget that this was ever human at all. Now, to be fair to the family, his sister Greta does take care of him and show him compassion a little bit in the beginning, but as it goes on, even she starts to hate him. And another thing I love about this is it never explains how or why he became a cockroach, nor does it need to explain that. Now, a lot of critics have read into this book being essentially a critique of capitalism and what it means to be human in a capitalist society, and I think I definitely agree with that interpretation because another one of the reasons why the family turns on on him is not just are they repulsed by the creature that he's become, but he was also sort of the breadwinner for the family before all this happened to him. Like, he was really supporting this family financially, and when this happened to him, obviously he can't go back to his job, so now everybody else in the household has to take jobs to support themselves, and that's another reason why they turn on him. And I think what Kafka is sort of trying trying to say is how, sort of like how modern capitalist society sort of views individuals as insects, essentially. But regardless of what your interpretation of this story is, it's still a great fantasy story. 
Now, this book was very influential, and it had several different film adaptations. There was also a George Romero film called Bruiser, which Romero admitted was inspired by the metamorphosis, even though that movie was not about a man waking up as an insect, it was about a man who wakes up to find he has no face, but that movie was inspired by this novel. There were also other books written that were based on this book, like there was a novel called Cockroach, which I never read that book, but apparently that book was about a cockroach that that wakes up to find that it has become a man. And also, the whole idea of a man becoming an insect, I could see that being an inspiration for the George Langlin short story, The Fly, which was adapted into the Vincent Price film of the same name, and then was remade in 1986 by David Cronenberg. Now, it's been a few years since I've seen Cronenberg's The Fly, but I believe this story, The Metamorphosis, is actually referenced in the David Cronenberg film. And I could see this story being an inspiration for David Cronenberg's entire body of work because I do consider The Metamorphosis to be kind of a body horror story. But yeah, that was my review on The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, and bye.